Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your May Tarot Scopes Big Baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up fam? I hope you're staying safe and taking care of yourself and getting out in nature. <laughs> With that being said, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a beautiful month ahead of you. We're going to jump into a little bit of an astrology forecast, pick our card energy, and then we'll head up your tarot read. So with that being said, on the 7th, we have some big energy coming in. We have a full moon in Scorpio, 17 degrees. Be prepared. Secrets will be revealed and everything will be shown. <laughs> on, the on the 10th, happy Mother's Day. Take your moment, guys. I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. I'm working two jobs. I have two beautiful children, and it's it's interesting. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to take that day for myself. Now, on the 11th, I want to say this, Saturn retrograde, one degree Aquarius. Be prepared. It's going to be there till June 1st. This is a sneak peek of what 2021 actually has and hold for us. Mercury will also be entering into Gemini, and communication is going to clear up. Now, on the 13th, Mars enters into Pisces, okay, so we might not really fully go into action, but Venus will also be going retrograde 21 degrees Gemini. Hmm, so Venus retrograde, what does that have for you? Stay tuned, I will have a video for that too. Now, on the 14th, Jupiter goes retrograde 27 degrees Capricorn, so we have, now we have Pluto and Jupiter both retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Pluto is transformation, Jupiter is that of enhancing and making it larger. Be prepared for things to be changing. On the 20th, it's your season, Gemini. Happy birthday. <laughs> and you have a new moon in Gemini on the 22nd. The 28th, Mercury will be moving into Cancer. Communication might get a little bit fumbled. All right. With that being said, just understand that with this Venus retrograde energy that we have coming in, you might have people from the past showing up, wounds from the past, anything that has to do with love, money is going to come up. This is a time to reassess, readdress, and move forward. All right, so here we go. Time to pick your energy. Which will it be, one or two? If you chose card number one, you better be on the lookout, big baby. This comes down to number 17, so it comes down to an eight. I'm going to say watch the way you're communicating because eight is about that. And if you're traveling, also be very, very careful. This is an indication of there is a situation on the horizon that could cause some problems. So just be aware and pay attention to everything that's going on. Now, if you chose card number two, you have number one. It's you. It's the Oracle of Delphi. You might be really stepping into your intuition, really starting to pay attention to your spirituality, and you're, and you're listening more to your inner voice this month as you're moving forward, as opposed to second-guessing yourself. So congratulations. With that being said, thank you guys so much for all your love, your support, and hanging out with me. I look forward to catching up with y'all in the reads. Hello, Scorpio. How you doing, baby? I hope you're ready for your read. Thank you so much for all your love, your support, your likes, and your shares. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to start off with the lineup, and then we will jump into the tarot. So we're going to go into your power animal, explain a little bit of numerology, look at your mind, body, and soul, hit up the tarot, learn about relationships, get into those retrogrades, a little bit of health, and end it with your crystal. So you have the raven. The raven has a Appeared for you. This animal is trying to bring you some guidance this month. Um, this this animal is said to come from Sirius, and it brings magic, a special magic. Uh, they create change by overcoming obstacles, and they're the transitional animal. All right. So if you see a single one of these birds, it's prompting you to watch out for unexpected change, or it may be telling you to raise your awareness before you start attracting something you don't need. This reminds you to set pure intentions to only attract good things. Ravens work with the Archangel Azrael, and the angel uh, that's known as the angel of birth and death. And when one waits by a dying animal, it's energetically helping them pass over. This is telling you, pay attention to what you're thinking, watch your thoughts, make your intentions clear, okay? Make sure that you're setting a clear vision on what you truly want. They also suggest that you have skills and talents that you're, uh, you haven't even encountered yet. It warns you to be prepared for sudden changes or transitions that are going to be unexpected on your road ahead. So pay attention to those things during this month. 
What is being called to your attention? When you're trying to do something, what energies are blocking you? All right, and that's what the raven is telling you. So now we're gonna go up into our mind and we have the beautiful Hayaka, okay? Now I love this card. She has the volcanoes in the background. Look at the arts on this card. It's so beautiful. And she's got the wisdom on the owl of, on the forehead, right? On her anja and on her crown. No enemy shall defeat you, not by night nor by day, not upon the earth nor in your soul. You are divinely protected and empowered, Scorpio. This is telling you, mentoring or assistance support you now. You need to look for help. There's some help that you're needing. There is a spiritual protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore your conscious movement of expression. Take time to dance, sing, drum, and affirm your liveliness. Hayaka is the goddess of Hawaii and watches over the sacred dancers of the hula and the arts of chant, sorcery, and medicine. Here is the medicine of light, sound, and the ability to penetrate the darkness of the lower level consciousness. So you might be experiencing some shadow work or maybe you've been working really hard on yourself, Scorpio, and you thought you were getting somewhere and something triggers you, right? Because the next card next to you is affirmations. However, consider what makes you feel good in your soul. Hayaka wants you to dance again. Give yourself permission to have fun. Explore authentic relationships with yourself and trust that in the process, things are going to change. You are in this process of healing. So, you know, we, we have a lot of these new age belief systems who think, oh, you know, I'm transcending. It's so beautiful. I'm going through my spiritual awakening. And I'm telling you, spiritual awakening isn't always puppy dogs and rainbows. Actually, it really isn't. It's really scary sometimes when you're spiritually awakening. It's hard when you're healing. It's hard when you're working with those wounds and you're facing those deep-seated situations and belief systems that you're changing. But this is telling you there's nothing that can penetrate you. Nothing is coming to you. This is your physical card. It's called affirmations. And you'll see here the chakra system, your root, your sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, anja, or third eye, and your... Um, crown chakra all of those are in alignment and right now it's telling you that there's powerful intentions and manifestations that could be made by you scorpio you've got to sit with this energy now this is the mighty i am presence this is the higher aspect of the self that connects to the source energy and right now your higher self is asking you to be serious about your intentions i don't know what you're creating but even the raven and hayaka are telling you your intentions are very important right now Invoke that mighty I am presence with all your affirmations to solidify the anchor and change the transformations you desire to change. Using daily affirmations really does help, especially telling them to yourself in the mirror. Now, you might have tried this in the past and it just didn't work, but I'm telling you, you're being triggered and you have to remember that you are protected. Now, on a soul level, big baby, you got the king of keys. And this is one of the best kings to get because this is about promotion, more income, money's coming in, careers looking good, finances. Um, you could be meeting somebody involved in real estate or business, okay? The king of keys is in management and industry. It's also an entrepreneur. This individual is entering into your life. Maybe you've been doing like soul calling or things of that nature where you've been calling in your soulmate, but you're doubting right now, okay? So pay attention to the energies that you're using. All right, Scorpio. Let's bless these cards. Now, I want to talk a little bit about your numbers. Hayaka is 40. Four is your foundation. Two is the affirmations, okay? That is your partnership with source energy. You have to go back to your foundation with the source to create your manifestations because 40 plus two comes to the six, right? That's 60, right? I mean, 40, 42 comes to a six. Sorry, I have to add the numbers up. The six, I'm slow, y'all, I'm slow. The six is your pleasure, your joy, the things that you have fun with, right? And in order to get back to that energy, you're gonna have to start affirming those energies. So I'm cutting the deck, my loves. And I have here, I have a new beginning. We're wiping the slate clean. We might be a little impatient or we're dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, who is being a little impatient with us. Sometimes those cards that represent people are our own energy. So this is where you might be a little bit on edge, like things aren't moving fast enough, like what the hell is going on? I'm doing all this healing and I still haven't met this person or I'm doing all this healing and I'm not where I'm supposed to be. 
and understand that we all go through those moments. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm completely healed and I'm great. No, I go through my moments too where I kind of have to go back, reconnect with source energy and, and build myself back up again. Okay, that's part of life. Just because you balance your chakras once doesn't mean that they're balanced for life. Okay, it's an ongoing process. So let's go ahead and see what we got here, my beautiful Scorpios. Oh, you know I love you. Three of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands, King of Cups reversed, and the Six of Swords reversed, or the Six of Arrows. Overall energy is the beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We'll jump into that read. Now I'm looking here at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign who's being a little bit jealous, kind of pushing you, aggravating you. Some of y'all might be in a third party situation or something, or there's some overindulgence. We need to find some balance, some balance even with, because the devil's popping up at the bottom of the deck. And this is for some, this isn't for all. So if this doesn't per you know, pertain to you, just wait a minute, I'll get to the read. This is how I like to look at the energy. So this devil could be karmic energy. This could be something that's coming in. You're trying to find balance. You're also working with maybe some skeletons in your closet or dealing with some bad habits that you need to get rid of. There's a false start, a false sense of peace, and your spirit guide is telling you you need to take care, you need to take better care of yourself as opposed to everyone else, Scorp. Okay. Now, let's see here. In the past, we have the three of wands reversed. So I kind of feel like you wanted to achieve something. It didn't come in the way that you thought it was, and you're kind of struggling with that. The nine of cups is showing up as what you're feeling in the present. You're very promiseful. You're feeling good. You're hopeful. Things are moving well. You have all the courage you need with the seven of wands. You're facing your darkest part. Some of y'all are doing a lot of shadow work right now. And shadow work is nothing to be scared of, okay? It's just kind of working with those darker aspects of ourselves and honoring them. Now... It's like, for example, let's say like you notice that you get a little bit jealous when friends make new friends. And so now you're trying to understand where that jealousy is coming from. Like, why are you acting that way? What does make that? What is the catalyst? Why are you triggered from that? And then healing that aspect. That's like shadow work. OK, now the King of Cups is the hidden influence. And I kind of feel like this is you. And you're just like, why are things so choppy? I've done so much stuff. I've created this stuff. What is going on? So you're you're a little frustrated this month. And that's why it's telling you to connect back to source energy to your mighty I am power. I have to move this bracelet. It keeps clinking on my arm. Now, let's clarify this three of wands. What do we got here with this beautiful three of wands? Let me get my pendulum out. King of Cups, should this be upright? Okay, you're still reversed because I feel like you want to achieve something. It's not happening, and this is either you or you and another water sign, okay? Now, you're bothered by this, okay? But this is the past. Now, in the present, you're, you're hopeful again. Your energy is picking up. You're feeling good about it. You have this Two of Wands energy coming in. You're looking at yourself getting full of courage. You have to make a decision. There is a decision to make because something is throwing you off. You're like the King of Cups reversed twice, meaning you're not happy with something, but you're saying you are. It's time to speak up, time to pay attention to why you're feeling this way. The hidden influence is you need, you need to have some cojones. You need to get some, some big, big balls and walk away from whatever situation is causing this to you. I'm telling you there's a new beginning for you. You know the new beginning is supposed to be there. It's not happening fast enough for you, okay? King of Cups. What has the King of Cups got going on over here? He's got a lot going on, okay? Two cards, Ten of Pentacles upright, and the Devil. Okay. The Picture Perfect family. This is what I call the Facebook family. The ones who have all the pretty pictures and yet there's a lot of drama going on. Maybe you're tired of pretending. Maybe you're tired of having to act like everything's perfect. There's something going on with, I, and I don't want to just tie the devil to addiction, but there's something being hidden from the surface. Like It's like that shadow work again is getting in the way. You know you should be happy. You have a new beginning. Things are going great, but you're not there. What's going on? It's like you're actually, because the Four of Cups had come out too, but it wasn't strong enough. It's like you're someone's offering you something, but you just keep seeing what you don't have. So I want to see how we can work with this, this devil energy. How can we flip that King of Cups upright? Because we want it to be, we want to have you in a good space. 
there is a reconciliation that you've been wanting to happen. It's a family reconciliation. You're ready for it to happen. I say family because it's a Ten of Pentacles. It could be a reconciliation with yourself. Maybe you having to forgive yourself and telling yourself, you know what? You did make a bad choice and it's okay. Your family's going to be okay. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. Planet Earth is not where we get everything right. This is where we learn so that we can we can ascend and grow. And when we give ourselves that time and that ability to move forward, things can change for us. Okay? So there's going to be a mending of a relationship possibly with somebody from your past. All right? Now, Six of Swords reversed. I feel like you might forgive things might happen you think it's going great but there's still more healing to do there's still some more healing to do so let's see why so i have the tower coming out with the eight of pentacles i want to say there's going to be a moment that you thought everything was great and it falls apart so that you can rebuild and make it better this is just one of those months, okay? Like, think about the retrogrades that we have going on, Scorpio. It's one of those times where we're just trying to move forward. You have things to be excited about, and that's where this, this raven energy is coming in. It's telling you, like, watch your intentions. What are you really going for? How can we flip this king of cups the other way? What's going on? Where do you feel that this collapse is going to happen? And how can we learn new skills to heal, okay? How can we move forward with that? Because if you keep applying the same healing and it's not working, you might need to explore other options, okay? So maybe meditation isn't working. Why isn't the meditation working? What is it? Is it a type of meditation? Is it that you don't have the time for the meditation? Is it that you can't calm yourself? So are there certain things that you can do to get into the meditative state? Have you tried a walking meditation? Have you tried a, 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 you know, a sound bath? Those kinds of things that you have to really start evaluating what skills and abilities you need to move forward and heal. In a work situation, this is you thinking everything is super cool and then shit hits the fan. Like, what the hell? And so you're having to learn new skills. It's one of those types of months, okay? However, you end it with the Ace of Pentacles, meaning you have good things coming. There is a new beginning, but just like there is a new beginning in everything, there's what? There's that ending. And you're getting the Nine of Cups twice. So I'm going to tell you, your wish will be fulfilled. You're going to get what you wanted, but there's something that's going to fall apart. You're going to make back up. There will be some Scorpios that when you make up with them, it's not going to work. It falls apart again, and that was a lesson that you needed to learn. But whatever it is, you're going to get what you want because it's the Nine of Cups twice. There's also a possible move, a sudden move that could possibly happen at the end of the month, whether it's a moving career, move in love, move in a home. Okay? All right. Let's see what we got for our beauty. You know what? You need more on the Nine of Cups, don't you? Nine of Cups. What do you want them to know? Let's see what the Nine of Cups wants to tell you. You better check your messages, baby, because there is that promotion coming through with the King of Keys. You better answer the phone. <laughs> You better check those messages, look at those things that are coming in, check your emails, because there's communication coming for you, okay? The communication is going to be from the King of Keys. There's that offer coming, that recognition that you've been desiring, the things that you've been calling in. Check your messages, all right? Now, for my beautiful, beautiful, connected, in relationship Scorpios, what do we have going on for you? Good Lord, everything. We got a whole lot of stuff going on. Let's see, I got four cards that fell out. Let's see the ones, the chariot, the sun. So I have the chariot and the sun. I have a victory for you in relationships. I do feel like there's something about traveling. There's also something I want to tell you on July 9th. I don't know what that means to you, but write that down. Something for you and your partner. Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's something coming through. But July 19th, you're going to feel like the sun is shining on you, baby. You're going to feel good. Things are moving in the right direction. We're healing. Where there was a communication situation, we're talking about it. Remember, things can only have the power over us that we allow. So let's see. I wanted to pull more for you. Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They're messages from the universe, but I also see like dream vacation. All right. A dream vacation, a dream come true is coming through for you. Okay. For my single Scorpios, good Lord, that flew out the deck. 
upright and upright. I have the Page of Pentacles with Justice upright. Again, with that pentacle, watch where you're investing your energy and time. And I do feel like whatever was going on with the devil, like that energy that you feel tied to, justice is coming through to cut that off. There's certain relationships that are going to be cut off from you um, when you're single, for my singles. And I almost feel like it could even be friendships. It doesn't necessarily have to just be romantic ones, but you're really finding balance where you invest in. You're not even giving people the time of day that don't even vibe with you. So that's a good thing. You might have an earth sign coming through that is trying to hook up or an air sign with that Libra energy. Okay. Now let's jump into the retrogrades and you have Tia Wanaka coming out, which is a very interesting card. This is all about elimination, right? And so what these retrogrades are trying to come together to teach you is what needs to be eliminated, Scorpio, what needs to happen, what needs to change, right? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use the lower part of the card right here, which is the past, to tell you what Saturn is trying to get you to open their eyes up to, which goes retrograde on the 11th. So are you prepared to open yourself up to different stories about the past, even about the ancient world, maybe about your past? It's about broadening things. What feelings and possibilities does this open up for you? It's almost like someone has been telling you a story and you're like, but that doesn't resonate with me. What if it's something else? And so you go and you research it more. It could even be your spirituality. But there's something that you're going to be dealing with during this time that makes you go back and maybe do a little bit more research for yourself so that you're not just believing what people are telling you. Now, in the middle world, this is what I'm going to use to represent Venus. Okay, this is that Venus retrograde, 21 degrees Gemini get centered and grounded okay you need to find your rock that is your source energy this might be a relationship a place that offers you sanctuary or something you love doing be that playing an instrument gardening talking to your friends whatever it is but if you haven't found your rock yet then now is the time to look for it okay that's what the middle card represents the middle of the card the upper world, this is like Jupiter saying, oh, I'm just like, <laughs> it's trying to give you some blessings, okay, Scorpio? So you're facing Tio Anaka's monumental gateway to the sun, and you're called to act. Don't be lazy, okay? Don't be lazy. Your desire for a new life is strong, but how would you feel if you suddenly lost everything as the people of Tio Anaka did? You must make the changes you desire for yourself now before it's too late. The sky and thunder god, Viracocha, is depicted here to guide you. He made the earth, the stars, and the sky, and humankind. But he was displeased, and so he destroyed his creation with the flood to, better a be to make a better one. This is a, um, from Tia Wanaka, okay? This is our creation story. Are you prepared to use that energy of Viracocha's staves representing thunder and lightning to destroy what no longer serves you? So you can go beyond it. The next time you experience a big storm, imagine yourself holding up these items, the stave, the thunder and lightning, directing the energy and the power to get rid of whatever is holding you back. Now, this card is located in Lake Titicaca, Bolivia. What I'm trying to get at is what do you need to remove? Jupiter's like, what you need me to do, Scorpio? I'm about to get it out the way, baby. I'm going retrograde and Capricorn and I'm going to take it away. So this is a time for you to reassess, readdress, and rebuild what you want for your future. All right? Now, when it comes to your personal life, just self-care, you have progress. Charge forward. You know, that's like your third eye. That is your wisdom coming through to move forward. You're cutting some stuff out of your life, Scorpio. It's okay. We grow, we evolve, and we change. Now, when it comes to your health, you have the star man, which is known as the magician so when the magician shows up in a health read this is telling you have overactive mind it's like you're like worrying you're you're constantly thinking about something communication difficulties you're you're like on edge anxiety stress depression all of those things you might even be depressed and anxious at the same time which is like the worst thing ever i feel like because sometimes i get like that too however we have to balance and that's why it's telling you to get back to balancing your energy the herb that's tied to you is to, to this um, card is rosemary, okay? Rosemary is a really wonderful herb. It, um, it can actually make your gray hair turn the right color. It helps with going bald. You can create an oil. It increases circulation to relieve aches and pains. It's used as a toner. Rosemary will help bring blood to the surface of your skin. When it comes to magic, it helps with... Um, 
Oh, it also helps with immunity, okay? It's tied to Leo energy, fire. It's great for spells, for fidelity, money, and love, and dreams. And it's tied to Aphrodite also. Another thing you can do is you can light yourself a beautiful pink candle, put some rosemary by it, and bring in friendships, bring in love, okay? Now, when it comes to your communication, you have, don't take anything personally. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally makes you prey for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Just refuse it, okay? Sit in your mighty I am presence. Now, I got a new deck. It's from the Rebel deck. Absolutely love this one. It's telling you, baby, you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your, your soul will thank you. So this might be one of those months where it's just going to feel better to just have a good release. You sit down, have a good cry, put that song on that gets that energy out. And after you've purged that emotion, sit with it a little bit longer and tell it thank you. Like honor that you had that anger, honor that you had anger because anger protects us. So when we feel like we have to fight these emotions, I do these exercises with my students, okay? When we have to fight an emotion and we tell, you know, it's not good to be angry. No, that's not true. Anger keeps you safe. Anger keeps you safe because anger is um, sadness's big brother. So when we can pull anger out and we can deal with that anger and we see why that anger is protecting us, then we can see why that sadness is there. And then we can address the problem. And that's how healing occurs. All right. So with that being said, my beautiful Scorpios, I love you dearly. I pray that you have a beautiful month. And if you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.